Chapter 43 Afterward he brought me to the gate, you in the gate that looketh toward the east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east, and his voice was like a noise of many waters, and the earth shined with his glory. And it was according to the appearance of the vision which I saw, you in according to the vision that I saw, when I came to destroy the city. And the visions were like the vision that I saw by the Reur Chaber, and I fell upon my face. And the glory of the Lord came into the house by the way of the gate, whose prospect is toward the east. So the Spirit took me VP and brought me into the inner court, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house. And I heard him speaking Ventomi out of the house, and the man stood by me. And he said Ventomi, Son of man, the place of my throne, and the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel for your, and my holy name, shall the house of Israel no more defile, neither they nor their kings by their wordom, nor by the carcasses of their kings in their high places, in their setting of their threshold by my thresholds, and their post by my posts, and the wall between me and them, they how you and defiled my holy name by their abominations that they how committed, wherefore I how consumed them in mine anger. Now let them put away their wordom, and the carcasses of their kings far from me, and I will dwell in the middest of them for your Thou son of man, shew the house to the house of Israel, that they may be ashamed of their iniquities, and let them measure the pattern. And if they be ashamed of all that they how done, shew them the form of the house, and the fashion thereof, and the goings out thereof, and the comings in thereof, and all the forms thereof, and all the ordinances thereof, and all the forms thereof, and all the laws thereof and write it in their sight, that they may keep the whole form thereof, and all the ordinances thereof, and do them. This is the law of the house. Upon the top of the mountain, the whole limit thereof round about shall be most holy. Behold, this is the law of the house. And these are the measures of the altar after the cubits. The cubit is a cubit and an hand breadth. You in the bottom shall be a cubit, and the breadth a cubit and the border thereof by the edge thereof round about shall the span, and this shall the higher place of the altar, and from the bottom from the ground, you into the lower settle, shall two cubits, and the breadth one cubit, and from the lesser settle you into the greater settle shall four cubits, and the breadth one cubit, so the altar shall four cubits, and from the altar and four shall four horns, and the altar shall twelve you cubits long, twelve you broad, square in the four squares thereof, and the settle shall be fourteen cubits long, and fourteen broad in the four squares thereof, and the border about it shall be half a cubit, and the bottom either of shall be a cubit about, and his stairs shall look toward the east. And he said, Ventomi, son of man, thus saith the Lord God, these are the ordinances of the altary in the day when they shall make it to offer burnt offerings thereon and to sprinkle blood thereon. And thou shalt do to the priests the luites that be of the seed of Sodic, which approach Ventomi to minister Ventomi, saith the Lord God, a young bullock for a sin offering. And thou shalt take of the blood thereof, and put it on the four horns of it, and on the four corners of the settle, and pawn the board around about. Thus shalt thou cleanse and purge it. Thou shalt take the bullock also of the sin offering, and he shall burn it in the appointed place of the house without the sanctuary. And on the second day thou shalt offer a kid of the goats without blemish for a sin offering, and they shall cleanse the altar as they did cleanse it with the bullock. When thou hast made an end of cleansing it, thou shalt offer a young bullock without blemish and a ram out of the flock, without blemish. And thou shalt offer them before the Lord, and the priest shall cast salt upon them. And they shall offer them VP for a burnt offering then to the Lord. So in days shalt thou prepare Uri day a goat for a sin offering. They shall also prepare a young bullock, and a ram out of the flock, without blemish. 
So in days shall they purge the altar and purify it, and they shall consecrate themselves. And when these days are expired, it shall be that fawn the eight day, and so forward. The priest shall make your burnt offerings upon the altar, and your peace offerings. And I will accept you, saith the Lord God. Chapter 44 Then he brought me back the way of the gate of the outward sanctuary which looketh toward the east, and it was shut. Then said the Lord unto me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no man shall enter in by it, because the Lord the God of Israel hath entered in by it, therefore it shall be shut. It is for the prince, the prince, he shall sit in it to eat bread before the Lord, he shall enter by the way of the porch of that gate, and shall go out by the way of the same. Then brought he me the way of the north gate before the house. And I looked, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord, and I fell upon my face. And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, mark well, and behold with thine eyes, and hear with thine ears, all that I save unto thee concerning all the ordinances of the house of he Lord and all the laws thereof, and mark well the entering in of the house, with you regoing forth of the sanctuary. And thou shalt say to the rebellious, you into the house of Israel, the Sith the Lord God, O ye house of Israel, let it suffice you of all your abominations, in that ye how brought into my sanctuary strangers and circumcised in heart and circumcised in flesh, who be in my sanctuary to pollute it you in my house, when ye offer my bread, the fat and the blood, and they how broke in my covenant, because of all your abominations. And ye how not kept the charge of mine holy things, but ye how set keepers of my charge in my sanctuary for your cellus. Thus saith the Lord God, No stranger of uncircumcised in heart, nor of uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary, of any stranger that is among the children of Israel, and the Luites that are gone away far from me, when Israel went astray, which went astray away from me after their idols, they shall you and bear their iniquity, yet they shall be ministers in my sanctuary, hawing charge at the gates of the house, and ministering to the house, they shall slay the burnt offering, and the sacrifice for the people, and they shall stand before them to minister unto them because they ministered vento them before their idols, and caused the house of Israel to fall into iniquity. Therefore how I lift Phoebe mine hand against them, saith the Lord God, and they shall bear their iniquity, and they shall not come near vento me to do the office of a priest vento me, nor to come near to any of my holy things, in the most holy place, but they shall bear their shame, and their abominations which they how committed but I will make them keepers of the charge of the house for all the sruis thereof, and for all that shall be done therein. But the priests, the Luites, the Sonnies of Sadak, that kept the charge of my sanctuary, when the children of Israel went astray from me, they shall come near to me to minister Ventomi, and they shall stand before me to offer Ventomi the fat and the blood, saith the Lord God. They shall enter into my sanctuary, and they shall come near to my table to minister unto me, and they shall keep my charge. And it shall come to pass aid that when they enter in at the gates of the inner court, they shall be clothed with linen garments, and no wool shall come upon them. Whilst they minister in the gates of the inner court and within, they shall how linen bonnets upon their heads, and shall how linen breeches upon their loins. They shall not gird themselves with anything that causes sweat. And when they go forth into the fir court, even into the fear court to the people, they shall put off their garments wherein they ministered, and lay them in the holy chambers, and they shall put on other garments, and they shall not sanctify the people with their garments, neither shall they shaw their heads, nor suffer their locks to grow long, they shall only paw their heads, neither shall any priest drink wine when they enter into the inner court. Neither shall they take for their wives a widow, or her that is put away, but they shall take maidens of the seed of the house of Israel, or a widow that had a priest before, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane, and cause men to discern between the clean and the clean, and in contrary they shall stand in judgment, 
and they shall judge it according to my judgments, and they shall keep my laws and my statutes in all mine assemblies, and they shall hallow my Sabbaths. And they shall come at no dead person to defile themselves, but for father or for mother, or for son or for daughter, for brother or for sister, that hath had no husband, they may defile themselves. And after he is cleansed, they shall reconvento him so in days. And in the day that he goeth into the sanctuary, unto the inner court to minister in the sanctuary, he shall offer his sin offering, saith the Lord God, and it shall be unto them for an inheritance. I am their inheritance, and ye shall do them no possession in Israel. I am their possession. They shall eat the meat offering, and the sin offering, and the trespass offering, and your dedicate thing in Israel shall be theirs. And the first of all the first fruits of all things, and your oblation of all of your sort of your oblations shall be the priests. Ye shall also juvento the priest the first of your dough, that he may cause the blessing to rest in thine house. The priest shall not eat of anything that is dead of itself or torn, whether it be fowl or beast. Chapter 45 Moreover, when ye shall divide by lot the land for inheritance, ye shall offer an oblation then to the Lord, an holy portion of the land. The length shall be the length of few and twenty thousand reedies, and the breadth shall be ten thousand. This shall be holy in all the borders thereof round about. Of this there shall be for the sanctuary few hundred in length, with few hundred in breadth, square round about, and fifty cubits round about, for the suburbs thereof. And of this measure shalt thou measure the length of few and twenty thousand, and the breadth of ten thousand, and in it shall be the sanctuary and the most holy place. The holy portion of the land shall be for the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, which shall come near to minister vento the Lord, and it shall be a place for their houses, and an holy place for the sanctuary. And the few and twenty thousand of length, and the ten thousand of breadth, shall also the Luites the ministers of the house how for themselves, for a possession for twenty chambers. And ye shall appoint the possession of the city few thousand broad, and few and twenty thousand long or against the oblation of the holy portion, it shall be for the whole house of Israel. And a portion shall for the prince on the one side, and on the other side of the oblation of the holy portion, and of the possession of the city, before the oblation of the holy portion and before the possession of the city from the west side westward, and from the east side eastward, and the length shall bower against one of the portions from the west border vento the east border. In the land shall be his possession in Israel, and my princes shall no more oppress my people, and the rest of the land shall they do to the house of Israel according to their tribes. Thus saith the Lord God, let it suffice you, O princes of Israel, remove violence and spoil, and execute judgment and justice. Take away your exactions from my people, saith the Lord God. Ye shall how just balances, and a just epa, and a just bath. The epa and the bath shall be of one measure, that the bath may contain the tenth part of an homer, and the epa the tenth part of an homer. The measure thereof shall be after the homer, and the shekel shall be twenty jeras, twenty shekels, few and twenty shekels, fifteen shekels shall be your mena. This is the oblation that ye shall offer, the sixth part of an epal of an homer of wheat, and ye shall do the sixth part of an epal of an homer of barley. Concerning the ordinance of oil, the bath of oil, ye shall offer the tenth part of a bath out of the core, which is an homer of ten baths, for ten baths are an homer, and one lamb out of the flock, out of two hundred, out of the fat pastures of Israel for a meat offering, and for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings to make reconciliation for them, saith the Lord God. All the people of the land shall do this oblation for the prince in Israel, and it shall be the prince's part to do burnt offerings, and meat offerings, and drink offerings, in the feasts, and in the new moons, and in the Sabbaths, in all solemnities of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering, and the meat offering, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings, to make reconciliation for the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, 
in the first monath, in the first day of the monath, thou shalt take a young bullock without blemish, and cleanse the sanctuary. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering, and put it on the posts of the house, and fond the four corners of the settle of the altar, and fond the posts of the gate of the inner court. And so thou shalt do the suent day of the monath, for Yuri one that areth, and for him that is simple, so shall ye reconcile the house. In the first monath, in the fourteenth day of the monath, ye shall have the pasture a feast of suen days. Lo and bread shall be eaten, and fond that day shall the prince prepare for himself, and for all the people of the land, a bullock for a sin offering. And suen days of the feast, he shall prepare a burnt offering to the Lord. Suen bullocks, and suen rams without blemish daily the suen days, and a kid of the goats daily for a sin offering. And he shall prepare a meat offering of an epa for a bullock, and an epa for a ram, and an hin of oil for an epa. In the suenth monath, in the fifteenth day of the monath shall he do the like in the feast of the suen days, according to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil.